hope everybody's been doing well today. Um, if you hang around my live streams and stuff, you have probably have seen this picture. Um, this is Pumpkin Patch Bunnies by Abraham Hunter. And I originally started doing this picture because it started as kind of a joke within my community. And then I had two of my online friends say, hey, we're going to buy it for you. And we want to see you work on it. <laughs> so that's what happened. And then one of those friends I actually wound up dating and his online persona is a bunny. So this actually wound up having a lot of meaning to me in different ways. It represented the, the cool people that I've met online and um, meeting my boyfriend which I'm very grateful for. <laughs> um, this is a 20 inch, 28 inch by 20 inch or 71 by 57 by 51 centimeters. It was through Diamond Art Club, legally licensed and all that fun jazz. I had a lot of fun working on it. There were 65 colors in it and I would work on it in sections roughly this big and I would have anywhere from 35 to 45 different color changes in here. Um, I think one time I counted 50 color changes. Okay. I have a bead that has come off. We shall put that back on there. But as you can see it is not sealed. This is this is how it comes. I've had it rolled up and stored in a box for a few weeks. I hmm, I initially started this on April 4th, and I finished it on June 7th. I think I put around 70 hours into working on this. Uh, seeing as how it's not quite that time of day for the sun to be hitting it, there's not much I can do about the sparkle, but you can see how sparkly it gets right there. Uh, had no problems. I had more colors than I needed. Um, the glue was really sticky. The drills were very consistent. I had little to no trash. Not much to say other than that. It was a lot of fun to work on. If you enjoy changing colors often, this is one to, this is a fun one to work on. I found this stimulating to work on. Um, I don't like a whole lot of color blocking. This is something I learned about myself. So I really, really liked this one. And if you like bunnies and you like pumpkin patches, I would recommend working on this one. I don't know how, I don't know how I'm going to wind up uh, framing it, but we're going to see how that goes. And that's one thing I love about where I film is um, I have the sun coming in and as it gets to that time of day, it's slowly starting to bring out the sparkle in the picture. It's a really fun to watch how things will start sparkling as it goes further into the day. So, but I honestly have no complaints on this kit. I thoroughly loved it. I would recommend it. Um, I think it is currently out of stock on Diamond Art Club, but I will put a link to it in the description. Uh, last time I looked at the price of it, it was $50 US. This is a round. The drills are round. Um, I had bought it in November of last year, and I finished it in June of this year. I got nothing more to say. <laughs> I'm very straightforward and simple with this. I had more than enough colors to um, finish the whole thing. No complaints there. It's very shiny when you can get the right lighting on it. Even without the, the different lighting, you can still see some of the shine. Um, I did have washi tape around the edge. Because there's a little bit of glue overlap. But I took that off because I don't need it anymore. I store this in a box. It's not going to get all dusty or anything. It stays in this box. Um, so yeah. This is Pumpkin Patch Bunnies. And I thank you for, for watching my very short post review. Because I got nothing more to say. Everything was nice. It was a good, good picture. Fun to work on. 
and uh hope you liked it leave a like comment i see it all and uh i hope you join us on twitch when we do crafting and i hope you follow over here on youtube have everybody have a good day